Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of For the Record. Uh, this is a Weekends in Vinyl 7. I just wanted to take a minute or a second to make somewhat of a correction. The video before this one where I talked about the new Who album coming out this year, I had stated that the information that was in that was that I presented in that video was taken directly from uh, Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey. Now, that's true. I didn't mean directly like I talked to them or I interviewed them. I didn't want anybody to. That's not what I meant. All right, there were uh, interviews and articles that I've read, and they, that was the, the information I gave was just basically directly from them not from another source. I just want to get that out of the way. And the video I did, a couple of videos I did where we uh, opened up Super Tramp self-titled debut album, um, 1970. Uh, unfortunately, it is warped. Sucks. But didn't pay much for it. Wasn't really a big deal. Um, I'm, I actually have two covers, so I'm going to keep them. So when I do come across the album, uh, I'll be able to, if the album cover is uh, in poor shape, I'll at least be able to use this one. So it was nice to do that video because I've never, I've never done one of those. So anyway, moving right along to the weekend in Vinyl 7. Um, heads up, the next weekend's in Vinyl 8. You're going to want to stick around because I'm going to talk about some cool stuff, some great stuff to, uh, to, to show, and just kind of... Um, just some chit chat about condition and everything so you're gonna want to look out for weekends in vinyl eight that's gonna be a good one I think so this stack I have here these were basically uh, a record store that I'm a regular at one of has an annual sale they have a couple different locations um, they, have, they usually have a sale every year and one of the stores doesn't usually participate in that. It's the same owner, but for whatever reason, they just, I don't know why, they just, they've never, never uh, participated in the sale. And the sale is everything, literally everything in the store, soup to nuts, um, records, 45s, CDs, comic books, posters, everything is literally 50% off. I think it's, I, I think it's one day is what it is, one or two days. But um, I actually, um, went, walk, I walked into the store on, I believe it was a Sunday, and there were one of the few stores, one of the few record stores that are open on a Sunday, uh, and they were having, they were having the sale, and, uh, it, it was, it was just, it was like awesome, it was really great to walk into that, because like I said, I, I wasn't aware of them having a sale, and from now on, I guess every year, um, both stores are going to be participating in the sale, so the one that's closer to me that I normally go to, I'm definitely, definitely going to go out of my way, or not go out of my way, I'm definitely going to plan on at least going there next year. So, these records are, I'm going to show, um, the total on these, if I were to pay, if I were to pay full price was, I don't know, it was like 32 or $36, somewhere around there. Uh, in the end, I paid under 17 um, I think it was like maybe 16 and change and some of these are some really some really good stuff I would have I generally would have bought these not all of them at once but I definitely would have picked them up eventually but it's great that I got them for literally half the price so well, let's dive into it enough chit chat we're almost five minutes into this thing all right the first one it's a little bit of everything but anyway so this is one I am not familiar with, but I've, I actually, I will say this, I've listened to quite a few of these, not all of them, but I will, um, I have listened to uh, almost the whole stack here. And this one is Skid Row Joe, Down in the Alley, it's Porter Wagner, it's country, if anybody is unaware, looked interesting, really good shape, and I like the cover, very nice. I listened to this one, and I, I like it. The next one, uh, Elvin Bishop. Again, all these were half price. And I paid like 16 and change for all of these. Moon Blues, Early Blues. Um, this is a double album, basically. 
Uh, I think what this is is these are recordings before they were the Moody Blues. Okay. This one, it, it doesn't look like it's in great shape, but the record is, I think there's actually, a, um, might be a possible tear somewhere in the jacket, but it's not bad. Uh, the record itself is absolutely fine. This is Goodbye Cream. It's great to find this, I love this label. The Alco label, original pressing. This was, I wanna say it was less than five, because it was half price. So. Great, great finds here. This is one I've rec I recently picked up, but it was in, it was, it was warped. I was happy to find one in better shape. Eric Clapton, in Backless. I've listened to that one. I li like I said, I listened to a lot of these. The next couple I'm going to show. I was, this is a total blind buy. Um, I ha had no idea who they were, and to come to find out, it was a local. They're a local band or were a local band. Um, kind of psychedelic stuff. Um, they're a local band from Massachusetts. They're called Orpheus. I'm not sure if they still tour, um, but these. This is this is the their first. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, their debut album, and this is actually what's playing in the background right now. This is really. If you haven't heard of them, this is really good stuff. Okay, from Massachusetts. Next one is there is Orpheus. It's their second album. It's called Ascending. Listen to this one as well. Look at this. this is such a great cover. Great shape. The next one, Pretenders. I think this one. This is Pretenders Extended Play. These are all. I think this is. Uh, these are live recordings. It says it on the back. Um. Yeah, live track, rec uh, live track recorded at Central Park, August 30th, 1980. Oh, all right, I take that back. The whole thing is, it's the one song, um, Cuban Slide, Precious. Is it Cuban Slide? The song, I think it's called Precious, and it was a live track recorded in Central Park. So I don't think the whole thing, I haven't listened to this one, the whole thing's not... Um, a live recording, just the one particular song, but one I hadn't seen and picked it up because, well, it's the Pretenders. Mother Earth, make a joyful noise. Classic 70s music, just great stuff here. The next one, definitely a, a space filler. Well, no, I take that back. Not, I, not a space filler, but definitely uh, getting close to collecting uh, all of the Jay Giles. This is uh, Giles Monkey Island. I love this. I love these labels. Like some of these labels are just great. Love that label. There you go. I've listened to this one. This is a great album, Monkey Island. We're looking at Rare Earth, and this is a, kind of a neat label as well. Not sure if I listened to this one or not. I may have. Anyway, this is a weird cover. We have uh, Edgar Winter. Looks like it's a mask, and those are his real hands. It looks kind of freaky deaky. Again, great to find these, you know, half off. I'm definitely going to go there again. Keep my eyes open for, for the sale next year because I tend to forget things like that. But uh, I'm definitely going to remember. And uh, even even their higher end, uh, they've got a shelf uh, that's high up and it's got all their, you know, 15 20 and, you know, $50 records, um, first pressings, original pressings and stuff. And all that, everything was slashed 50% off. So, again, I'm definitely going to go again. This is Mountain. Which one is this one? Uh, Flowers of Evil. This is a great album. I've listened to this one several times. Love Mountain. Again, there's the Windfall label. And this one is Grand Funk Railroad. Good singing, good playing. It's 
some great stuff here. With the great weekends in Vinyl 7. Uh, make sure you watch the next weekends in Vinyl 8. Uh, I got some great stuff. Uh, some rare stuff. And who knows, I might be wearing the same shirt then. So, as always, be kind to others. And see you on the flip side. Peace.